Hello everyone! In this tutorial we will see how to create a repeating notification which will appear daily on a specific time. So as you see in my main activity layout I placed a button which will work as a trigger to start the notification process. Ok, so in the main activity class use the find view by ID method to set the click listener on the button. First thing that we need is a time when we want notification to show. In order to pick the time, we can use the instance of the class named Calendar. We will pick up the time at the end of the video when we finish up the rest of the code so that we can test all this immediately. Ok, so uh, repeating notification works by creating and registering a broadcast receiver which can be triggered by the Alarm Manager. Alarm Manager is a service that is built into the Android system. So, let's create a new intent that will lead us to that broadcast receiver. I'll name it the Notification Receiver. In this class we will actually create the notification, but we'll do it later. First we need to take a look at this Alarm Service. The alarm service takes a pending intent as a parameter, so we must provide the pending intent from the intent just created above. So call the pending intent dot get broadcast method and pass in the context, then the unique request code. I'll choose like 100, then provide the just created intent and also flag named flag update current. This flag indicates that the pending intent which we created now can be updated into the future. Like if we wanted to change the time to the new one or to change the content of the notification. And now we need an instance of the alarm manager. So reference it with the get system service method and choose the alarm service as a parameter. Next, to create an alarm which will repeat and trigger our notification, use the method named setRepeating. Let's see the parameters. First, we have a parameter named type. For the type, choose the alarm type RTC wake up. This type ensures that the alarm will be triggered even if the device goes into the sleep mode. Then we have a parameter named trigger at. It indicates the exact time when the alarm will be triggered. This is the time which we provide by using the calendar instance. So to set that time from the calendar, use the calendar.getTimeInMillisec method. Next is interval. How often should it get called? We want the notification to show on a daily basis, so we choose alarm manager dot interval day. And in the end we just provide uh, the just created pending intent. Ok, now let's create this notification receiver class. As we said, it is a broadcast receiver, so extend it with the broadcast receiver class. This class has a method named onReceive, which is always called when the class gets triggered. So implement this onReceive method. This is the place in which we will build our notification. In order to display the notification, we must use the notification manager. Make an instance of that manager. Now when we show the notification, we also want user to be able to click on that notification and in this example we will make that when he clicks he will get redirected to some repeating activity. So to start the new activity when the user clicks on the notification we must create uh, intent. Create this new class which I call the repeating activity and implement on create method. Let's simply set the content view for it and Alt plus Enter keyboard shortcut to create this new layout. For this basic demonstration I'll just simply put the text view and nothing more. 
Okay, so go back to our notification class. For this intent, set intent flag named flag activity clear top. It will ensure that the activity which is being called now will replace, if needed, the same old activity in the case the old activity is already opened or running in the background. Then we need an instance of the pending intent in, in order to be able to show the intent into the notification. Use the getActivity method and pass in your context. Then also add a unique request code. Next add the intent which you have just created and the flag named flag update current. This flag works like the flag defined for the intent from the code above. And now we build the notification with the notification builder class. We also provide the pending intent. Then there are several options we can add. First let's add an icon to the notification. We can do that by using the set small icon method. Next let's add a notification title and also notification message. And in the end we can call method named set auto cancel and set it to true which will make notification dismissible when the user swipes it away. Now just use the notification manager and call the notify method. You must pass the unique request code and uh, then call the notification builder with the build method. And then make sure that uh, you implement the set alarm user permission in the manifest file. Also register both the repeating activity and the broadcast receiver which is in this example named notification receiver. Then there is just one more thing left. Go back to main activity. We just need to set the time when we want notification to appear. As you remember we are using the calendar instance so use the calendar.set method and then choose the type named hour of the day. When setting the hour with the calendar remember that the 24 hour clock is used. I'll type here number 23 because it is 11 and 48 and in order to test this we will make an alarm trigger at 11.49. Also you can choose to pick the minute. To pick the minute use the calendar.minute and if you can you can also choose seconds. I'll type like 30 seconds. So the alarm should trigger at 11.49 and 30 seconds. And that's it. Uh, let's test now the emulator. Uh, click on the button to start the whole process. Let's exit this application and wait for the alarm. I'll just speed this up so we don't wait full minute. And as you see uh, we are getting a notification. Now we can click on it and as shown it redirects us to the repeating activity which we previously defined. This notification would repeat every day at 11.49 so I think that this is a very nice way to notify users about some for example latest news or updates and so on and so on. So thanks for watching guys. See you. Bye bye.